Well, hello and welcome to day three. If you've made it to day three, guess what? You are almost free. My name is Tony Ward and I'm a travel agent training specialist with Evolution Travel. I am here today to talk to you about your business to make sure you have a clear understanding of exactly what you have to offer and what you have at your fingertips. I wanna make sure that you are confident in the industry before your eyes travel. So today we're going to go to day three in our seven day series. Now if you're here day three, I want you to understand that day one and day two are definitely prerequisites of day three. So if you have not done day one and day two yet, I want you to stop. Stop right now. Look down in the description and go ahead and watch day one, day two, and do the homework associated with those days before you continue with this video for day three, okay? So let's just recap for just a second. So for day one, we talked about the foundation, we got your credentials, we got you completely ready, and now after day one, you became a professional travel agent with Evolution Travel, recognized throughout the entire travel industry. So if you've done that, kudos to you. Day one is done. Day two, we made sure that you register with all of the primary suppliers out there, okay? Made sure that you were plugged in with the system, and we wanted to make sure we announced you to everybody out there so that they know that your travel business is open and ready and operational. So you guys, if you've done day one and day two, day three is going to be fabulous. Now, day one and day two, you put yourself out there, you started, you know, really marketing yourself in the industry, put everything on social media, let your friends and family know that you're a travel agent, right? So here we are at day three, and I'm sure by now you've gotten somebody to say, hey, I need a trip. Hey, could you give me some quotes? Hey, I've been thinking about going somewhere. Can you help me? So congratulations. I know it feels good to know that yes, 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 you've got your first client. Super cool because that feeling is exhilarating, right? When you open your first business, you make that first dollar. In this case, you've started your travel business and you've gotten somebody who's entrusting you in setting up their vacation. So congratulations, congratulations. Take a second, do a little dance, tell God thank you, and let's move on. Now, once you got that thing, you got that notice, you got the phone call, you got the email, you got the text message, whatever, you got excited, right? You got excited, and then all of a sudden, after the you know reality kind of sunk in a little bit, you started thinking, okay, I know I'm a professional travel agent, I know I put my information out there, I know I've registered with these agencies, but what do I do? How do I actually book this trip? Where do I go? How do I start? O-M-G. What have I gotten myself into exactly? I don't think this is for me. I've got too much work to do. I got to take care of my kids. You know, all of a sudden that stinking thinking sits in because now it's like it's real right? Now somebody's like, I want to go to Jamaica. I want to go to Hawaii. Hey, I need to take a flight to Atlanta next week. Can you help me? Hey, I want to take my kids to Disneyland. Could you put together my 30-person family cruise? All this stuff is sinking in and you're thinking, oh my goodness, what do I do? And then you try to reach out to your sponsor, right? You try to reach out to your sponsor, you guys. Have you guys done that? Would you agree with me that you try to reach out to your sponsor, maybe the first call, the second call, once they find out that you actually need some help, they're like, I don't know, what am I supposed to do? You reach out to your sponsor and your sponsor tells you something like, hey, I don't know, I just wanted to become a travel agent because of the great tax deductions. You know we get to write off everything, so I haven't actually booked a trip myself. And you're like, what in the heck have I gotten myself into? Well, never fear. Tony is here, okay? <laughs> so I want to make sure you have every single thing you need to get through this first trip. Have everything you need to just kind of have a clear understanding. But me, me, not by myself. Believe me, there are tons of people in our company that are here to help you, that will guide you through. We even have a training call with Nikki Lee Live two times a week where you can actually hop on the call and get real live training on the spot. So super cool. So make sure, I'm sure you guys have already done that homework so you already know when that call is coming, right? 
Right, because you did day one and day two. Now, um, I know it kind of feels a little bit lonely, right? When you get to that point and the person that you trusted to sign you up in this business doesn't have this information that you need. But you guys, don't be upset because we all have different levels of learning. It's okay. They're learning too. And that's why you have people like me to help you through the situation. Don't feel like you've been ghosted. Don't feel like you've been left alone. Everybody has disappeared on you when it's time to book that travel, right? Don't worry about it. We're not ghosts. We're going to be here. So today we're going to talk about the eight steps of booking so that you can book that travel successfully and get what you came for, which is some travel commission, right? Some trips for yourself, all that stuff. So I wanna make sure you understand that nobody is gonna disappear on you. We are here. And if you can't find your sponsor, it's okay. You have this video and you have the rest of the training um, staff that's here to help you as well. So remember that you can always call Archer Travel, 1-800-ARCHERS, um, ask for Jose. Jose is fabulous. He's gonna help you. He's gonna steer you in the right direction, okay? 1-800-ARCHERS. Now, let's, let's, let's keep it real. Let's talk about a scenario. Let's talk about the people who are going to reach out to you the most. And those people are going to be your friends, your family, right? Those who want the hookup, <laughs> right? They want you to hook them up. You know, they said stuff like, hey, saw you were a travel agent. I didn't even think travel agents even existed anymore. Oh, my goodness. Or the people who say, well, can you send me on a trip? You know, I know you got extra discounts. Can you get me, I saw a trip for Hawaii for $1,000. Can you get me there for 500? Or the people who say, you know what, I've been trying to go on a trip. I know you got super discounts. Um, I got $200. Can you send me to New Orleans? Can you send me to Jamaica? Where can you send me on your discount, right? I'm only coming to you to help you. I can easily book this myself online. Now listen, if anybody, remember this, you can tell them Tony said it, that's fine. If anybody wants, quote unquote, the hookup, you let them know. The hookup costs $49 and $69.95 a month. So become a travel agent and hook yourself up because we don't do hookups here. We are professional travel agents and we are running a business, period, okay? You wouldn't call Expedia and say, give me the hookup. You wouldn't call Orbis and say, give me a hookup. You wouldn't call any of those places and say, give me a hookup. So respect my business. I'm a professional. Okay, you guys, you have to have a certain amount of posture um, when you are running your business because you deserve it. So the hookup costs $49 and $69.95 a month. They can hook themselves up, become an agent, and learn how to do what you do and earn some commission. Okay? Now, let's get down to business. Now, we have eight steps. Eight steps of booking we're going to go through. And the first step that we're going to talk about today is gathering the information. This is the most important part because the information is what's going to drive you throughout the rest of the seven steps after this one, okay? Gathering the information is key to giving a good quote. You need to understand completely what your client wants, what they need, and what they expect. Let's say that again. You need to make sure you understand what your clients want, what they need, and what they expect. Because those three things can be the difference between your client coming back again, um, between your client referring you to a friend, and the difference between you having the biggest headache in the world because your client is not you know, happy about their trip, something's not going right, and they want to cancel. So what they need, what they want, and what they expect. Those are the things you need to understand. You need to have a conversation with them, okay? You need to ask questions, be specific, and ask the hard questions. You need to understand the budget that they're working with. You know, they might say, hey, I want to go to Hawaii, and you go put them in a five-star hotel when they can only afford a two-star motel. So it's really important that you understand the budget that they're working with. And you need to get the information in writing um, so that you don't have any kind of you know, mistakes and stuff. And I'm going to show you a trick on how to get all the information you need um, in writing so that you don't have any human error stopping you from getting things right the first time, okay? And then we want to make sure we give them a turnaround time of about 24 to 48 hours so that you can do the research. Now, you're new, so you can even say, hey, 
I'm new at this. Thank you so much for entrusting your trip in me. To me, give me about 72 hours to get with an expert to make sure I do this right, okay? Because I want to make sure I get you all the right prices, get you the best deals for what you need, what you want, and I want to make sure I qualify exactly what you expect out of your trip, okay? So you want to make sure you do that. So gathering the information can be done in a lot of different ways, and I'm going to show you a way. This is the trick. This is um, a little um, raw hack, okay, that I'm going to give you guys to use so that you can actually have your clients fill out a form so that they can give you all the information, okay? So this conversation is going to go um, either over the phone, text message, but more importantly, when they fill out this form, you are going to actually get this form in an email. So let's go there. Let's go to the form right now. Okay, so this is the form that I use whenever I am collecting information from a client about a vacation. Now this form was designed on JotForm. And the cool part about this is I have made this form a template so anybody can use it. If you go to JotForm.com, you can put in the template information, which will be located right there down below. Below, If you look below in the directions, um, description, I'm sorry. If you look below in the description, you will see the jot form information where you can get this template, okay? This is gonna be part of your homework, so I wanna make sure you guys know exactly what you have, okay? So right here is a nice form. You can actually send this form via text or email, inbox, whatever, for them to go ahead and fill it out and give you the information, you know, that they, that you need to give them a quote, right? So you can do your research. So you're basically asking them the basic questions, you know, how did you hear about us? What's your name? What's your email? You know, you even ask them. You want to make sure they're serious. There are going to be a lot of tire kickers. If I find you a reasonable quote, are you willing to make a deposit? Yes or no? How did you hear about us? Now, this is super cool. You will work with other people. Um, and you can just actually, they can put here your name, your billboard, social media, whatever. When you actually take this template, you want to make sure you change this and put your name here, okay? So they're going to put their name, their information, their email, all the information you need actually to get them some research. What type of vacation? How many travelers? How many rules? R rooms? What type of accommodations do you need? All this stuff is important. Here's the most important part. What is your budget? Desired per person budget. This is so important, you guys. Desired per person budget. You need to know this because it makes a huge difference um, if you're going to book them at the Ritz Carlton or if you're going to book them at the Super 8. Okay? So, super cool. Do you want travel insurance? Are you interested in payment arrangements if available? All that stuff is important. And I never leave this out, you guys. I'm a travel agent, but I'm also a business person. So at the end, we always say, are you interested in becoming a travel agent? They can say yes, they can say no. But the offer is out there and they see that it's available, okay? So super cool to be able to do that. So this is the form. You're like, okay, Tony, sounds good, looks good. I'm super excited. What happens when they fill this out? Well, when they fill this form out, what happens is it is actually goes to you in an email. You'll get the email, they'll also get an email receipt, and you'll be able to have all the information you need to do the next step, which is research. How do we do this form? Well, this is how you do it. Let me show you. Okay, so this is JotForm, JotForm.com. You're actually gonna go to JotForm, and when you go to JotForm, if you click on templates, it says form templates, you can actually go to You Deserve a Vacation and that template will pop up. All you have to do is put Use This Template and once you click Use Template, you'll be able to go in there and formulate it yourself with your information, okay? So I set that up just for Evolution Travel. So anybody in Evolution Travel can definitely use that template for themselves. So once you type that in, you'll be able to do that, okay? So you're, you are receiving the information. Now, once you receive the information, the next part that you're gonna do is some research, you guys. You are gonna do some research to figure out how you're to get your client from point A to point B. Now, remember, in day two, 
we went into our travel cafe. So when we're doing our research, we're gonna use our travel cafe for so many different things, okay? So the travel cafe is where you are going to start with your research. Let's say your client wants to go to Jamaica. Your client wants to go on a trip to Jamaica. How do we get them there? What do we do? What is the next step? Let me show you what the travel cafe looks like when you're trying to find a trip to Jamaica. One second. So we've logged into our back office and we've gone to the Travel Cafe. And right here, we see all the information um, that we need. We're under form, so let's go to suppliers. Suppliers by destination is what we wanna do. So you're gonna click on suppliers by destination and we're gonna look for some suppliers that can help us find a trip to Jamaica. So that's in the Caribbean, right? So let's click on the Caribbean. We're gonna click on that. Once we click on the Caribbean, it's going to show you different suppliers that you can actually use for the Caribbean. So where in the Caribbean do you want to go? They can go on a cruise to Jamaica. You know, what are they doing? Vacation Express is part, you know, the Caribbean. All these places go to the Caribbean. United Vacations. There are so many. Now, one that we talked about before, of course, is Bax. Remember with Bax, you've already gotten your passwords from day number two. So now you can use Bax to actually research and find some options for a trip to Jamaica. Whether it's a regular trip, whether it's an all-inclusive trip, if you need airfare, if you don't need airfare, Bax will help you do that. But what do we do? We just went to the Travel Cafe. All we did was click on destinations and then it tells us which suppliers we can use to service those particular destinations. Really user-friendly. All you have to do is get out there and do it. You can do that for any country, for any trip, but your travel cafe is key when you are looking to research for a trip, okay? Google is your best friend as well. You can also Google suppliers for trips to Jamaica. And guess what? A list of suppliers will pop up for that too. So always try Google, always go to your travel cafe before you reach out to your sponsor. Use your travel cafe, use your Google before you reach out to your sponsor, okay? You can do this. Super exciting. Sometimes you might feel a little bit overwhelmed, but remember from day one, it's always okay to come up for air. So make sure you go to your travel cafe and you go to your Google before you go to your sponsor, okay? Now, once you've gone to Vax or whatever supplier you decided to use, the next step, of course, is going to be delivering a quote. Now, with Vax, of course, you're gonna learn Vax. You can send a quote directly from Vax right to their email. Super cool, very professional. You wanna make sure you deliver them a quote within the time frame you've allocated for yourself. So if you tell them, I'm gonna get back to you in 24 hours, you wanna make sure you get back to them in 24 hours and give them a quote. And if the, you know, and then you go from there talking about the quote, figuring out what they want, what they don't want, how to you know, customize it specifically to their wants, needs, and expectations. And then after you're done with that, you definitely want to ask for the sale. If they've decided that you've met their needs, you've met their wants, and you've gotten all of their expectations out of the way, then it's time to move forward and ask for the sale. You want to then go ahead and collect, you know, what you need to put down the deposit or the payment for this trip. So I'll tell them, hey, okay, so the quote looks good, everything looks okay, let's move forward and get your deposit paid. Let's move forward and go ahead and hold this trip because until the trip is actually paid for, the prices are not guaranteed, right? They can change at any minute. Airfare changes all the time. So as soon as you get something that works for them, you wanna go ahead and lock that in. And the only way to lock that in is with the deposit. So ask for the sale. Now, once you ask for the sale and they agree, what you need to do is make sure you fill out a credit card authorization form with your client. Now, this is also found in the Travel Cafe. So make sure you get that credit card authorization form filled out and sent over to the company. This protects you, it protects your clients, it protects the supplier, okay? So you wanna make sure you receive a credit card authorization form. 
for every single you know person you book a trip for it makes sense and it's business right you are professional you want to work your business professionally so you're going to get that now after you've done that you're going to process the payment here's where people mess up oh cash at me oh i'm going to send it to my paypal oh yeah just give it to me in venmo oh yeah you can pay me through facebook absolutely not that's called commingling funds and you never want to do that you want to make sure the payment goes directly to the supplier without stopping in your possession you can never have possession of your clients payments that belong to a supplier it's not going to happen can't happen no 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 you can be suspended and even terminated from the company for doing something like that so you wanna make sure you process the payments accordingly by putting in their credit card information um, on the sp specific supplier information where it goes. But that money can never, ever, 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 and if you didn't hear me the first time, that money can never be in your possession, okay? It has to go directly from the client to the supplier. So you wanna go ahead and process that payment. Now after you process the payment, you immediately, professionally, want to send them a receipt and the payment schedule if they've set up a payment plan. If it's a cruise and they have to put down the deposit and the, the next payment is due a particular day, you wanna make sure that information is put in the system properly so that it can, they can know, hey, I got my receipt, this is what's going on, because on that receipt will be your cancellation policy, it will tell them all the information about the trip, you know, all the important information in case they wanna cancel or make changes will be found on that receipt. So make sure you send them a copy of that receipt and the payment schedule right away as soon as you have processed their payment, okay? And then after you do that, you want to submit your booking tracking form because we're not working for free. This isn't pro bono, right? You're a travel agent now. You're not booking stuff online for free. You are a travel agent and you want to get paid. So as soon as you get your first deposit, you want to go ahead and fill out your booking tracking form so that you can get paid as soon as the commission comes into the office. So make sure you fill out that booking tracking form. It's also found in your back office through your travel site. Now, of course, your homework for day two was to set up your travel site. So your booking tracking form is found in your travel site. So make sure you do that. Now let's recap a little bit of what we just learned. Okay, now this will be found down below in the description. So make sure you print this out for yourself. You have this, you put it in your binder so you know the eight steps to booking, okay? Now you wanna gather the information, that's the most important. You wanna do the research, right? Deliver the quote, ask for the sale. You wanna close that deal. You wanna accept the payment and the authorization form, right? You wanna process that payment, send the receipt, and then submit your booking form so you can cha-ching, 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 be happy on ping day, right? So remember, we get paid on the 15th and the last day of the month whenever we're booking travel. So make sure you're ready for your money and you put in your booking sheet, okay? So let's talk about some homework to make sure this sticks because I want you guys to have all of the information and I want you guys to be able to benefit from what you've learned in day three. So I want you to register for dot form. Dot form is free. It is a free account that you can get so that you can have access to a professional um, form that people can fill out and you'll actually get an email, okay? Um, if you wanna see mine, you can go to vacationquote.info so that you can see what it looks like. When you go to job form, of course, you're gonna to go to you deserve a vacation template and you're gonna use that template and make it your own, okay? I want you to find a trip I want you to do the research, put it together, either for yourself or for a client. And I want you to use the eight steps to complete that vacation quote. Now, also, you guys, decide what you want to specialize in. What do you want to do with your travel business? Do you want to do group travel, cruises, romantic getaways, special needs, pet vacations? What do you want to specialize in? Figure that out because that's going to come up in a couple days, okay? So you want to make sure you decide what you want to specialize in. And then you want to outline your dream vacation. What is your dream vacation? You know, how much is it? How much would it be as a customer? How much is it as a travel agent? How much commission would you make? Are there any benefits or perks you can use because you're an agent? I want you to really outline your dream vacation, put it together, put it on your dream board so that we can make sure, you know, we are working towards a specific goal because you work hard 
And like everybody else, you absolutely deserve a vacation, okay? Now you guys, get this stuff together. Day four is going to be fabulous. We are gonna use that jot form that you're gonna make in day four. So please make sure you do your homework. I'm gonna show you how to get a domain name like vacation quote or like you deserve a vacation all those different things so that you can brand your business we're going to talk about branding we're going to talk about marketing we're going to talk about getting clients i'm going to show you how to make yourself stand out make your personality help you win your creativity will drive day four so make sure you do all of your homework for day three because you're going to need it in day four this is tony ward travel agent training specialist with evolution travel i hope that you're getting a lot out of our seven day series day three is officially over and done please go ahead and do that homework and prepare yourself for day four i'll talk to you guys later and i'll see you all at the beach and at the bank bye everybody